Good morning. Happy World Breastfeeding Month. I am Dr. Jetta Holloway Jankowski and I practice in Beloit, Kansas with my husband. Um, my part in breastfeeding is more to do with tongue ties, lip ties, um, really what we call tethered oral tissues. Um, anything that um, affects latch, um, weight gain, um, anything that moms might notice that their supply is weakening because the baby's not getting enough um, milk for whatever reason. Usually I either have moms reach out to me because they can visually see that there is some um, tongue tie, uh, lip tie. Usually lip ties are more prominent for moms to see than tongue ties. Um, but I also get calls from physicians um, who have noticed it when the baby was born, maybe tried to have the mom breastfeed for a while, could see that the baby was not gaining weight, and so they refer them to me to take a look at their tongue or lip or really anything in the mouth. Um, I also have referrals from um, Mitchell County Breastfeeding Coalition if they've worked with the mom and have tried different methods of improving uh, breastfeeding with what they know and they suspect that there is a tongue tie, then they'll refer uh, babies to me to take a look and see what we need to do. Um, like I said, lip ties are more prominent, easy for everyone to see. Tongue ties are a little bit more difficult. Yes, they can be at the tip of the tongue, but there's also deeper ones that are more muscle-based that impede the movement of the tongue. And actually, the tongue is very important in overall growth, um, aligning the teeth where they need to be, the airway where they need to be, speech, swallowing, everything like that. So we really try and get on top of that sooner rather than later. Um, but you know, there's different situations that occur. When I do it, I always like to have the mom working one-on-one -on -one with a lactation, lactation specialist um, to make sure that once the procedure is done, that um, you know we're getting the right latch and everything as far as that's concerned. Um, I typically do it with a laser. Um, I also have other means of releasing those tethers but it does take three, about three to four weeks for the muscles to really relearn how they're supposed to act because they haven't been acting properly all this time. So working with a lactation specialist um, or someone who can <clears throat> make sure that the proper breastfeeding form is correct, um, that's really what we like to do and kind of following up so that way moms don't get frustrated um, during that three to four week period, it's not uncommon uh, to worry about milk supply because the baby still hasn't learned how to properly nurse. So, um, you know, just getting that one-on-one -on -one support um, and know that it does improve. You just got to get those muscles retrained on how they're supposed to act because they haven't done that for the longest time. And in babies, lives I know that's not very long but still you know they don't know how they're supposed to be using those muscles so really what I do is just in coordination with Courtney um, or any lactation specialist Tracy um, Hannah and um, even the physicians just to work all together in making sure that the baby is thriving um, gaining weight moms are able to successfully breastfeed as long as they want um, and I then look at how the tongue functions to make sure that the baby's going to be swallowing um, it's going to work the way it's supposed to for airway teeth and all of that so again I'm Jetta Holloway Jankowski I'm a dentist at Dental Designs of Salmon Valley and I look forward to seeing all babies